Hey, Donald Miller, Donald Moe's Electrical Services. It is December. Um, it's almost halfway through December already. But the year is winding down, and I have to say, I, I enjoy December. Um, typically, I try to have a little bit of a slow period starting December 20th and we kind of wind down jobs and projects that are ongoing that'll go through into the new year. That's fine. We, we kind of get them on a routine, but we really want to take this time and, and review with the guys how they did this year. Okay. Who's progressing in their training, who isn't progressing in their training. And I want all my apprentices to make more money. And I, I want them to be on a program that they are taking the next steps. And the more they know, the more knowledgeable they are, and the more they learn, the better tradesmen they're gonna become. And a lot of these lipstick electricians on YouTube aren't teaching this. I don't, I, I don't know what they're doing i guess they they want to make money off their views or something but i came from just chewing on nails spitting on staples it's the best way to describe it my guys that taught me were 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 craftsmen but they were tough and they they put into me a fire that I'm trying to train these other guys today. And a lot of these lipstick and makeup guys aren't aren't teaching the fundamentals. All right. And so let's forget about them because obviously I don't wear any lipstick or makeup and I'm gonna tell you how it is. So <laughs> number one is in December, it should be a time to so typically December was a time that a period that the trade would slow down a little bit, especially in the past. It was known to go slow, a little bit slower in the winter. And uh, we would prepare for this. We would save up for it, especially if you're skillful enough to be a subcontractor. Some projects don't start until the new year. And you were always, at least when I was a sub, prepared for a slow period okay and then tax season would come along and there'll be a kick in the economy okay i'm not saying that happens all the time i'm just stating that you know it the one thing my mechanic taught me was just to be prepared for some slow times so the moment you're prepared for them when they come it's, it's somewhat nice okay and so december i always look forward to and I always try to look back and, and see what I did for the year, see how the year went. I'm also preparing my paperwork for tax season. And you're, you're just, it's, an, it's a nice close of the year and you can kind of look back on things. All right. Apprentices, all right, this would be a good time to see how you did over the year. See what you've progressed, see what you've learned. And... If you are not a helper, but you're definitely not an apprentice yet, you're like somewhere in the middle and you, you want some advice here, master whatever it is that your foreman, your mechanics, whoever's in charge of you, if they're giving you tasks to do every day, be the best at them. If you wanna learn more, the best way to learn more is to, to master what you're already being taught now. And when a stressful time arises and your, your mechanic is shorthanded, they're gonna look to you to pull up that slack. And that's normally whenever, that's normally how I got raises in the past was when some event happened that left the mechanics shorthanded, I was ready, willing, and able to pull in the pull my weight in. And that's when opportunities were given to me. 
So be pre if you're prepared for those opportunities, you can take advantage of them and you will 100% benefit from them. All right, but if you aren't skilled at the task that you're doing now, they might not even offer it to you. They might bring someone in from another site or call their friends or hire someone else. Um, because if you can't handle the tasks you have now, they're not gonna give you an opportunity to handle something more difficult. And oftentimes, we hear guys crying that, you know, I'm not doing electric that much, I'm not doing electric that much. Well, these entry level guys, if your tool belt etiquette is horrible, and your tools are in poor condition. It's showing me that I, I, I don't want to put you on electrical items. That I want to wait. And so if you're a helper and you're doing everything but the fun stuff. Oftentimes you have to learn everything but the fun stuff first. Okay. And you know, I, I remember feeling that type of way. I remember wanting to do switching. And they had me on outlets for I don't know how long. And then when I got the switching, it was amazing. But I couldn't always do switching. It was like a little bit. All right. So, yes, the, the, the fun stuff does come. But you have to be skillful at the less fun stuff first. All right. And if that means picking up a broom and keeping a site clean or or moving tools or moving materials that's it that, that's important parts of the process so if you have to move materials around for to keep your mechanics moving one it teaches you what materials they're using so pay attention to the materials they're using all right pay attention to the tools they're using pay attention to how nice their tools are okay and how how well they maintain them okay oftentimes that's going to tell you how good the mechanic is look at his tool bag all right a good mechanic like i i my tool bag is a very nice tool bag and my tools are kept in in primo condition so if you want to find out if you're working underneath a decent mechanic look at his tools look how he takes care of them Okay, look how he treats them. He's not lewd, like, uh, you know, when I when I was underneath Fuzzy, Fuzzy never left a tool laying around, okay? His tool bag was on his hip, and when he would move from location to location, he always had his tools on him, all right? And that's a good habit to get into. Never leave your tools around. The next thing you know, you lose something, and you're, you're running around, so... There's good habits to pick up in this trade, and there's bad habits to pick up in this trade. And oftentimes, when we bring guys in from these companies, and we have to train them, we're not, we have to remove the bad habits. One, we have to expose the bad habits. We have to teach them what good habits are. And then we have to teach them how to, to incorporate those good habits into their daily work structure. All right, and yes, the quality of your tool, it matters, okay? It matters, it matters, it matters. And you get some of these guys from these, I'm not going to state what companies, but their tool etiquette is just deplorable. Some guys come on here with wire cutters that I can't even forcefully bend, which I don't understand. Uh, I, I really don't understand that, but that's a whole different video and maybe I'll get I'll do a tool video um, in the future so here's winding down God bless enjoy your day